What's up cats and dogs? It's Alley Cat here. Uh, I was going to do something totally different for this week's video, but as pretty much everybody knows, the new iPhone 6S's came out on Friday, and I decided I was going to talk a little bit about why I switched. Yay! What originally made me go with Android was there was just a ton of stuff that you could do with that phone. You didn't have to buy like a phone with a lot of memory space, you could buy a 16 gig phone, and because you had the ability to do a micro SD card, you had like all this extra space that you could use on a little card. Um, you also have a back button, which is so helpful, you guys. You iPhone users, you don't know what you're missing out on, and this is one of the things that I'm really gonna miss about having an Android. The other thing is the ability to customize your phone. So with an Android, you know, you could change your fonts, which is really great. Hint, hint, Apple, yes, good, excellent, do this, please. So you could customize your fonts, you could customize how your screen looks, so you can have like a bunch of different widgets on there. You don't necessarily just have to have like these folders and these apps. You could just read your news right there. It was all really great. The problem though is that Android has started moving away from a lot of that. So yes, while you do still have a back button, and you do still have the customization ability, you don't have a lot of the things that made Android really stand out, like the ability to buy, say, a 16 gig phone and then store everything on a micro SD card. Also, seriously, Samsung, what is up with that edge? Just, what? No. Why would you do that to a phone, man? So yeah, I really liked Android up until the Galaxy S5, I think is the last one that I had. I was actually really reluctant to get the S5, and the only reason I got it was because, like an idiot, I dropped a sugar jar on my S4 and just obliterated the phone. My Samsung S5 actually managed to corrupt 128 gig micro SD, which I was super sad about because I had had that thing since I got the S1. And I just had it like from the S1 to the S4 and then the S5 and then within two weeks, the phone just completely destroyed it. The phone wasn't turning on, it was just, it was terrible. So I ended up having just a 16 gigabyte phone forever as a result of that. Which, you know, I do a lot of videos and a lot of photos so it really wasn't helpful to me to only have that much space because a lot of it is taken up with bloatware, which is another thing that I absolutely hate about Android. So really, because Android started moving away from the things that made it stand out, to me there was no real point in keeping an Android when I could get a phone for about basically the same price with more gigs and that would actually sync with my laptop, which would be so awesome and I don't need to like download something to sync my phone to my laptop. It was, it's a hot mess, man. I'm still trying to get used to my iPhone. It's a real pain not having a back button. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's, I have an iPad and you would think that I would have figured out like, it's just gonna be a pain in the ass for the rest of my life, but there you have it. So yeah, that's why I switched. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys plan on switching to an iPhone from an Android or if you plan on switching from an Android to an iPhone and what you guys think about the whole thing. So if you liked this video, you wanna see more, go ahead, click the like button, click the subscribe, and I will see you guys later.